What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys today I'm going to show you how you can get all of the police vehicles or cop cars in GTA Online and also how you can get the trade prices for all of them. So first of all the Stanier Le Cruiser if you want to unlock it, if you want to buy it, you will have to complete the scope out mission Road Police Station as part of the Gangbanger robbery. Now what does this mean? Basically there is a new business, it's called the Salvage Yard. With this business you can do robberies and one of those robberies in the first mission you have to scope out Road Police Station and this is what they are talking about. So first thing that you need is a salvage yard, you can get it on Maze Bank Foreclosure. I don't know what the exact best location is but I recommend one of the three that are in the city. After you finish all of the cutscenes you can access the PC by registering as a boss. And then over here you want to pick the Grotti Turismo Omagio. This will start the gangbanger robbery. First mission of this robbery is the scope out mission. Here you will scope out Road Police Station and this will basically unlock the police cruiser. In this mission, very simple, you just have to take some pictures of certain things in the police station. Not difficult at all. For the trade price of the standard Le Cruiser, you will have to collect one piece of evidence from a crime scene. Now, most of you guys have probably already done this. And for most of you guys, the trade price will be automatically unlocked, just like in my case. For the people that haven't done it yet, a crime scene is a random free mode event. So it's one of those events that pops up on your map with a blue dot. When you go there, there will be a police car, two police officers, and then somewhere on the ground, you will find a piece of evidence. This is basically what you have to pick up, and then you will get the trade price. If you want to see a video, by the way, where I also go to these crime scenes, you can click top right right now, or I will also leave a link in the description. For the unmarked cruiser, if you want to unlock it, if you want to buy it, you will have to survive against a 3-star wanted level or above for 5 minutes, and then afterwards you also have to lose this wanted level. The easiest way, I think, is just shooting some random people, shooting one or two police officers, this will get you 3 stars. And then just drive around for a bit, make sure that you don't lose the wanted level. And then after a while, you can just go to the sewers or you can just lose them by just driving around as well. Because three stars is actually not that difficult. If you want, you can also use a helicopter for this. But then it might be that you lose the wanted level. Or you can use, for example, an armored vehicle, whatever you want. Three stars isn't really that difficult. For the trade price of the unmarked cruiser, you simply have to complete the gangbanger robbery. So this is the same mission again that you launch from your salvage yard. Just complete this entire robbery. Then for the police riot, first of all, if you want to unlock it, you will have to naturally lose a 4 or 5 star wanted level. Naturally means that you cannot call Lester. And I think it also means that you cannot, for example, go in LS Customs, but I'm not sure about this. Anyway, a very easy method is just in the last mission of the Gangbanger robbery, you will get a 4-star wanted level and you have to lose it anyway. So just by playing the Gangbanger robbery, you will also complete this. The easiest way to lose a 4-star wanted level is just by going to the sewers, just drive around until you lose it, and then you will unlock the police riot. For a trade price, you will have to complete the tactical gear mission. Again, this is part of the gangbanger robbery. So you guys can see four out of the six things that I told you guys in this video are just uh, completed by completing the gangbanger robbery. After you're done with these challenges, you can go ahead and purchase these police vehicles. The Stanier Le Cruiser and the Unmarked Cruiser are just regular personal vehicles that you can store in your garage. You can also modify these in one of your properties. So this means that you can only modify them in something that you own and not, for example, in the LS Car Meet or at LS Customs. So a couple of examples are, for example, the MOC, the Avenger, the Arena War Workshop, your um, Agency Workshop, your CEO Office Workshop. Just something that you own, a workshop of a property, and over there you can modify the Unmarked Cruiser and the Stanger Le Cruiser. For the police riot, it's just a Pegasus vehicle, so sadly you cannot store it and you can also not modify it. That's basically it guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, check out my Discord server in the description and peace out you guys.